Hello, hello, this is Revere Sky. And today I want to talk about three hand symbols. It's so funny that the comedic sign of peace, oneness, and the European sign of war, victory. As you can see, the two, they're different, okay? But this is the thing that I want to talk about with these hand signs. When you become one with nature, when you become one with the universe, shall I say plugged in, not unplugged, but plugged in, meaning not disconnected, actually flowing with the Maya, flowing with the ebb and flow of life, when you haven't just taken yourself out of it or become detached, your body has a force that will start sending you in positions. I don't do yoga like that, but it's very important to start doing yoga because after you start priming the body to be able to do certain things, over time, once the body feels that it has this elasticity, it will then start to move on its own. Once the body feels that it has so much control, it will then start to move on its own. So since my hands have so much free range to do what they want, my arms have so much free range to do what they want, they were the first things to be activated as in the body given messages. Not only do, does the body give messages, there are also antennas, antennas. And what they do is, if you're conscious, you'll notice that your hands will start doing certain things. They will start going in certain positions. Now, the comedic sign of for peace, my right hand always does it on its own. I could be thinking, I could be observing someone, and that hand will move into that position. But when I do it, it always, the back of my hand always covers my mouth. The, the back of the two fingers, the back of the hand always moves up and covers my mouth. But I don't know why. I have no clue why. It'd be like, hmm, and these two, fingers always cover my mouth, but that thumb is always out too. Now this is the same symbology that um, the, um, what is it called? The Baphomet uses. And that's union. That's peace. That's balance. Okay. Oneness. Oneness is balance. Union. Peace. So that's one thing that the Baphomet has mastered, okay? Balance, peace, and oneness. Or whereas the section of the life existence that the Baphomet lives in, there is peace and oneness and union. Whereas humanity is going through chaos and problems. So there's no union or oneness. Now... Let me explain something else. A lot of people think that people go through some form of MK Ultra, whereas people are controlling you, which that could be true because my dreams, not dreams, but the, the dreams I hear, like, the guy that kissed me or the mouth that kissed me like Mwah! and I woke up like what the fuck so this is off the subject but this is dealing with conscious transferring whereas you're somewhere or something has tapped into your universe your motherboard your bio programming your bio technology your temple they have connected to you and they're able to stream data to you even down to 
voice waves or audio waves, okay? Now, this is dangerous because you think that you're having such a vivid dream, but your conscious is actually somewhere else or someone has tapped into your frequency and they are then interfering with it or they have compromised you. Not saying it's good or bad because we don't know if we're on another realm or if we're to the point where we're in a laboratory and our consciousness is in another body and somebody is kissing that body, but your body back home can still interpret everything, okay? It's like when you have a port that has two sides to it where you can be shared in many forms of fashion, okay? Not only that, I wear that crown of mine with the pyramids pointing down for a reason. Consciously, it happens on a subconscious level. I created that, okay? Not only that, my hands, when I'm deep in something or a part of me has activated, whether that's MK Ultra or comedic science, comedic metaphysics which i have not identified yet which is which is if something is controlling me from a laboratory or if the universe is actually working with my body okay see that's the thing your body has language too that's why they call it body language because the body can position itself in positions that help benefit its evolution, okay? Help it to evolve. That being said, back to the hand signs, the praying hands, the triangle at the womb pointing down, all of this matters because on a subconscious level, unconsciously, I'm doing it. My hands do it. Yesterday, I got in a deep conversation at the beach and before I know it, my hands were positioning themselves. And when it does this, it freaks me out because I know my brain did not say, okay, put your hands together and position them like this. No, they automatically lock together. And when they lock together, either I'm absorbing something and transmitting it out or something is transmitting my body feels like this is the information I need this is the information I need to send out and when your hands go in that position you have to realize that you've just activated something your body is activating something and your body wants the message to be relayed now again I tell you people MK ultra where your subconscious mind your motor, your muscle motors, there's a possibility that they can be controlled by somebody in a laboratory. I'm not dismissing it, not one bit, because I remember one time I was driving and it was like my right leg did not want to hold the brakes. Like I was at this light, my leg wasn't weak, but it just felt like my foot wanted to release the brake and let go. For some reason, I don't know. But that's why I said I'm not dismissing it. Okay? But back to the comedic hand signals, hand signs and stuff. And signals, they are signals because they're antennas. Okay? Hand signals, when you're out on the field and you're doing certain signals, that does certain stuff. Whether you believe it or not, that's alchemy. It's doing certain things. When that umpire does certain stuff, that's alchemy. No form of way saying it's not, okay? So be mindful of things. When I kiss my two fingers together, I didn't do this because I wanted to do it. My body normally put me in that routine to put those two fingers up and say, Unearth the magic, the truth will definitely set you free. More. It does it. It does it naturally. Naturally. So, this being said, 
It can be ancestors, can be spirits that you have accepted to learn certain metaphysics. It could show that you're evolving on a more psyche level, a more metaphysical level, a more alchemy level. When your body is able to work on its own. But see, you notice whenever humans evolve, they come up with a new trend. So if the body is one with nature, is one with the universe, is one with the Maya, it's in free range to start doing symbology. That's right. If your body is one with nature, one with the universe, one with the Maya, the God force energy within you, the soul, the spirit, all of them can speak through you. The body is then in tune with the surroundings and it then can unite and do its symbology. And why I show this hand signal is because I do it naturally without even thinking about it. It just showed up on my feed and I thought I should talk about it. It was a meme on my feed and I definitely thought I should talk about it. It's very important. Now the praying hands, like one day, oh my God, my hand was throwing up the sixes, like uh, the pyramid, the... Uh, Six point star, it was throwing that up. It uh, it was doing the praying hands, but downward. It was doing the uh, it was doing the wound downward, the pyramid facing down, automatic. And when it does it, it's scary. So what I do is because off rip, I think the trend MK Ultra, somebody that tapped into my bio my bio mainframe and they're controlling my motor they're controlling my hands that's the first thing i say so i'm scared of it but when i feel it it's so magnetic and so powerful i try to embrace it at the same time but at the same time who wants something controlled in their free will nobody nobody wants anything controlled in their free will but how do you identify if your body is controlling your emotion on a subconscious level or your mind on a subconscious level is controlling your body, motion, and movement. When you're not sending out thought and it has to come back and process your movement, when you use no thought but it still processes your movement as if your lungs breathe without thought, okay? So that's what my hands do. My hands go in symbolic motion without thought. And that is very, very keen information. This is something you need to realize. Why do you bite your nails? Why do you rub your eyebrow? Why when you say something that you're true and real about, you brush your nose? Why when you get deep into a conversation, it feels like stuff is rubbing across your face? Because what's going on, the spirit within you is at a real point in its life where it's not sugarcoating and it's not shaking at the, and it's not afraid to be who it is. But at the same time, never dismiss MK Ultra only because people can tap into your frequency where they can send you messages telepathically, audio clearance, like what does they call it? Uh, cl clair clairsentience, clear audio, whatever. You can get clear audio through your head without it coming through your ears. Be mindful of this. The other night, it was like metal on metal. <laughs> like... Something was happening to the magnetic table in the earth. But for some reason, the silicon, I was thinking about silicon today, and I was thinking about Silicon Valley, and I was like, what are they digging? What scrub? What happened? What turned? Something turned. Not only did it turn, it was loud. 
and it was only in my head. It was, it did not come through my ears. So remember, you can hear through your brain. You do not have to hear through your ears. Do y'all get it? Meaning, you can telepathically hear sound through your brain. It does not have to be input through your ears as feedback. No. You can actually hear. And shout out to you. I'm going to send you a telepathic message. And so you get it. I'll make sure you're doing something that you love. And as you do something that you love, you'll get my message. But you have to be doing something you love. How do you hear messages from the cosmos? How do you hear messages from the ethers? How do you hear messages from your subconscious mind? You have to be doing something. You have to be driving, skating, uh, riding your bike. And you have to be spaced out. Meaning you can't be thinking about nothing. You have to be spaced out. That's that's why the Pleiades said that when they came down and got the guy, he was working, he was sawing something. He was busy. And when he was busy, he never knew that he was elevating in subconscious to somewhere else. And it's true. When I was in Texas, I was just driving, driving, driving. I had to go to Laredo down there at the border. And I lost four hours. Four hours. I had looked at the clock at 8 o'clock. When I looked at the clock again, it was 12. And I felt that I only got there in two hours and it takes six hours to get there. Something totally was missing. So, yeah, I just wanted to give y'all this. If you have hand signs and signals that your body is doing, embrace it. But be mindful that it's time that we distinguish if our body is doing this, if a spirit is doing if our spirit or a spirit or some influence around us is doing it, or is someone in the lab creating this phenomenon, okay? Unearth the magic, the truth will definitely set you free.